Today's video, I'm going to show you how to defend trips tied in in Madden 24. Got a little mini ebook for you in terms of really breaking down in depth how to stop trips tied in. And if you want to get my full dollar defensive ebook, I'm going to be showing a lot of the setups out of dollar today. You can get access to all of my ebooks by being a Patreon member. Link's going to be in the description. I want to give you the first setup here right out of the gate. And uh, the only thing you need to do is just make sure your zone coverage is set to match. You're going to be coming out in dollar three two cover two press. What you're going to do is you're going to put your outside trips uh, corner on an outside quarter. You're going to put your trip side uh, safety there on an inside quarter and then you're going to man up this uh, slot corner onto the middle trips receiver. You're going to put your user in a deep blue zone and pinch your defense. And this right here is one of the best trips tight end defenses in the entire game. As you can see, you're going to get a nice little uh, match concept here on the left-hand side. I want to break it down an instant replay, really explain what is going on in terms of why this is such a good adjustment for trips tight end. So essentially in Madden, there's this kind of like, like, um, like code, if you will, within the game that if you are using these quarter adjustments out of any play that is not a match coverage stock. So if you're doing this out of a cover two or a cover three, as long as you're not doing it out of cover four, uh, cover four palms or co really cover four in general, cover four quarters, cover four palms, cover six, cover nine, uh, cover four drop, even this would not work. But if it's a cover three, a cover two, or a man coverage, you're going to be able to do this quarter man quarter trick. And essentially what we're able to do is it's going to create a match concept. So this outside quarter is for all intents and purposes in man to man coverage on the outside trips receiver. The uh, inside quarter that this safety was on, as you'll see right here, he is matching to that inside trips receiver. If you didn't know, trip side in, what makes trip side in so effective and really the best two players on the field, in my opinion, are the inside trips receiver and the tight end. Those are the receivers you have to be able to stop because in the formation, they are the receivers that have the best stock routes within the formation. So really important that we're able to neutralize at least one of them and then we can use one of them. So uh, this inside quarter trick really does a great job of he will just always he'll take away a cross or he'll take away a corner. No matter what that guy's on, he'll take it away. And then we actually went ahead and individually manned up the middle trips receiver with this guy just to kind of man lock the side. So we got three over three, but all three of those guys will do a really good job. And then what this allows us to do over here on the backside is essentially have four different defenders dedicated to slowing down the tight end and the running back. So that is the quarter man quarter adjustment. Hope you enjoyed that. And we're going to get into some more setups for trips tight end defense. All right, so for the rest of the setups of the trip side in defense, I did want to kind of go over some personnel and uh, coaching adjustments and different things like that. We're going to have all kinds of different adjustments for you. going to be a lot of information in this video. Again, if you want to get my full defensive ebook on the dollar defense, we only we show you how to stop every offense in the game. The link is in the description to be a Patreon member. $10 will get you access to everything over there. Now, what I wanted to do is uh, just go over a couple of things with you real quick. Um, in the Buffalo Bills and Regs, only, only reason I'm showing this is just um, you want to have deep out zone KOs on your outside corners when you're playing trips tight end. And the reason why is because you want to use your safeties to basically cross man or do certain types of adjustments that will mitigate crossers. If you think about trips tight end in general, what makes trips tight end effective is the alignment causes significant challenges to man and zone looks. There is a clear pre-snap tell if it is man or zone due to the tight inside corner alignment. We'll show that in a minute. Also, if you run your defense on man line, which we will do for some of our adjustments, there are some other challenges that it poses um, in the fact that you're they are now able to do a lot of different things with their tight inside. So as you see right here, if we were to man align, this is not uh, dollar actually features the best version of a man alignment in my opinion, but most formations would be, honestly, would look more something like this. Like if this was nickel 3-3, three, three, it would look something more like this. So as you can see, the tight end really has a lot of leverage to the right side of the screen. So this is also going to give them a clear man zone tell right out of the gate because if it's man coverage, that corner is going to go over there and guard the slot corner. But let us let me show you what it looks like if it's zone. As you can see, this uh, slot corner now comes back over here. So these are some of the challenges that trips tight end poses. Now, the next defense that I want to show you is really one of my favorite defenses for uh, dollar or out of dollar, and it is to use the free safety uh, thirds package. So when you're using the free safety thirds package here, what you would what I would recommend is go ahead and if you're wanting to run this coverage adjustment, go ahead and put your deep out zone KOs, um, put one of them over here at the corner and then one of them at the safety. It's going to make this a little bit better. And then when you're running this adjustment in dollar, you want to sub out and then basically resub back in all of your players. 
so that um, because when you go to this package, it's going to mess up your alignment. So just keep that in mind. And we're going to use the free safety sub package. Now, for this defense, we are running this with auto flip off. And the reason why you want to run dollar with auto flip off is because it makes the blitzing threat that much more relevant. And it just makes it so that your blitzes are going to work a little bit better. So uh, just keep that in mind. And we're just going to come out and curl flat as our base play. And I will show you uh, these adjustments. So uh, the, out of the free safety sub package, what you're able to do here um, is you're able to get these outside thirds to the safety positions. Now, one other thing that gives us a significant advantage, as I talked about a dollar, it's really unique to like one, four, six dollar, two, three, six. You can't really do this out of nickel as well. Um, nickel sets won't defend this or won't give you this alignment as effectively. But what you can do is you can go to dollar and you can actually man align your defense. And when you do this, what's going to happen is the slot corner that was on the right side is now going to be over the top here. So this gives us a significant advantage in terms of our alignment because we're still able to play three over two here to the right, but now we're able to play four over three um, or five over three to the left, which gives us a significant advantage just in terms of numbers. So, and the other thing that's important to show with this is if anyone goes from the trip side across the formation, I want you to watch what happens. You're going to see that these slot corners will basically realign to their default setting. Um, so you do want to keep that in mind because some people will motion a lot out of trip side in. I will say um, in the recent years, not a lot of motion has, has actually um, really been happening on a trip side in. Most people are just lining up and running it. So that's also important to understand. Okay, so we're going to pinch our defense. That's going to set up our blitz threat. Um, if they don't block a running back or they don't block a tight end, a lot of times you can get this guy coming through the A-gap. And then for our coverage aspect of this setup, what we're going to do is we are going to outside third, the outside cornerback on the trips side. We're going to middle third the safety that is on the trip side. And then we're going to outside third the safety that is on the tight end side. So essentially what we're doing is we're creating a roll coverage concept that's going to roll over the top of the tight end. Now, all you have to do for the remainder of adjustments here is we're going to curl flat this trip side slot corner and then we're going to vertical hook this um we're going to vertical hook this corner here now what's cool about this is if they motion all you have to do with this guy that's going across i would just man him up on the tight end so you see here just something simple like this or once he gets over here then you could just vert hook him and your coverage is pretty much going to be completely intact so those are some simple ways that you could kind of get around that but I did want to show uh, what this adjustment is going to do a really good job of defending. So this adjustment is going to do a really good job of defending a couple different things that you're going to see. One of those things is, um, you know, if they were to run any kind of corner route to the left, this is going to do a pretty good job of defending it. And I'll show you. I'll show you why. So all your user really has to do is kind of lurk in the middle of the field. I like to take the mid read off. By taking the mid read off, it will allow this vert hook to match. And I'll show that in just a second. But what you'll see here, really nice little defense. And then this is a, a deep out zone KO, right? So a lot of times they're going to roll off of the fade and they're going to actually be able to cover uh, that receiver. So that's a really, really good adjustment for trips. Now, another reason why this is a really, really good adjustment for trips is one of the weaknesses of trips. This is why we want to take this mid read off the field is whenever you play zone against trips tight in, they can hit this seam streak to triangle at a pretty high clip. So what you're going to see here is we're going to get a reroute and then that vertical hook is actually going to match that and take that away as well. So you're able to take away the seam streak, which is a really powerful route. You're also able to take away the corner route to the left hand side. And then another thing that you're able to take away here, and this is a little bit more of an advanced thing that an advanced trips tight end player would do but you need to be able to have the ability to take this away is they're going to put their running back on a streak and then they're going to have their tight end on a corner. So if they were doing something like this, what you're going to see is that outside third adjustment to that safety is going to really help take that away. As you can see, he's able to take that away pretty well. And then a lot of people also like to utilize a short corner uh, to the tight end. So they might you do something like this out of the play vertical is pretty popular setup. What you're going to see here is if we go with these adjustments, you're going to notice that, again, my user, I'm going to kind of carry the, the, the starting point of the tight end, and then I'm going to work to the running back. But basically what you'll see here is this cloud flat is going to take that away. So as you can see, they're not able to throw a corner route to the right-hand side of the screen. Another thing that they're really not able to throw with the, these adjustments, which is one of the reasons why I think these are some of the best adjustments for trips tight end, 
is let's say that they wanted to run a streak corner flat or, you know, kind of something like this, for example. All we have to do here defensively, because we have this vertical hook and curl flat, the vertical hook will carry that backside in route a little bit better. But again, you're just going to take the streak. You're going to kind of lurk to here. And then if they try to throw that, please notice that the outside third is rolling into position to be able to defend a deep crossing route from the trip side to the tight end side. So that is also going to be pretty well taken care of. So we've taken away verticals. We've taken away a lot of stuff. Now, the one route combo that I do think can give this a little bit of trouble is the patented uh, slant post combo. And the slant post, con the slant post combo would look something, something like this here. And while this is a really good combo, we actually have this vertical hook is such an underrated adjustment. But what you'll see right here is if I lurk to the tight end, I've got to kind of snap back here. If they throw that, if, if we can get the pressure there before that tight end can get all the way across the formation, a lot of times what will happen is they'll actually throw this into the vertical hook. And I'll, I'll kind of show what I'm talking about here. This time we'll just spy our user. Um, but essentially, if you look at the timing of this concept, a lot of times what will happen is you know they'll be kind of right in here and they'll start they'll throw that kind of right at that 40 ish like right right as he's kind of coming into the numbers so if you get something like that this is actually a really really big advantage for you in terms of just the timing of everything so again let me put the vertical hook up there i don't know if i i think i might have accidentally hard flatted him last time but again here you see watch that vert hook so if I'm throwing right there, if that's a tall player like a Julius Peppers and Mutt, um, a Calvin Johnson and Mutt, you know, any tall defender, you've got a chance to defend that. OK, but as I said, I think this is the best concept that uh, can attack this coverage concept. But we're going to show you another coverage concept that I really like to be able to kind of counter that. And uh, this is one of the I think one of the really unique defenses that you could run against trips tight in. And you could really run this a lot of different ways, to be honest. Um, what we're going to do here is we're just going to run this on uh, default. And we're going to do it out of the play DB Fire 2. So uh, what we're going to do for this setup here, this is going to be kind of a, a really good defense for a slant post if they are running that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pinch our D-line. We're going to press. And then as you can see here, um, you know, the alignment, again, trip side in just does a good job of, I think, just creating alignment issues for you defensively. What I like to do is if you baseline press this, you're going to get this kind of alignment, which is not bad at all. You can kind of do that if you want. Um, but essentially what we're going to have here in terms of defending trips is we're going to man up the safety on the trip side onto the outside trips receiver. We're going to man up the linebacker onto the inside trips receiver. We're going to cloud flat the, uh, well, you can shade up or cloud flat. That's up to you. But essentially we're going to cloud flat over there on that, on that side. And then we're going to take the safety and we're going to man him up onto the inside trips receiver. Now from here, what I like to do, you have a couple of different options. This is why I like to be on default alignment. Because as you can see, the soft squad is like literally way out of the field of play. And in this year's game, they can actually snap throw seam streaks and it's actually really hard to defend. So what I like to do is just man scap on the tight end. I'm going to stand about right here. So essentially all we have to do in this style of defense, because we're going to have good pressure, is if the running back releases to the flat, we do have to guard him for a second. But what we can do, let's say they do uh, release the running back to the flat out of a combo like this. Watch what we can do with our user here. We're just going to run to the flat and then back to the slant. And by that time, the pressure should be um, pretty close to being you know, available to you. What a lot of people like to do when they're running trips tied in is they really like to uh, basically go ahead and utilize like a, a block running back or a play action uh, concept to run this so they get more time to get that tight end open. So once we got to get them in the rhythm of they got to block somebody, it really helps us because in trip tight end, they're very rarely going to block the tight end. Almost always they're going to block the running back to try to pick a pressure. So it's going to look something like this. And then now what we're able to do here is we have a sin five pressure and we have a cloud over here on this left side. So the cloud flat is going to do a really good job of taking away the post to the tight end. So we're going to kind of lurk the post off rip, and then we're going to bite down here. And as you can see, we're able to really take away that slant post passing concept. This uh, defense also can be ran out of other stuff in the formation. I did want to show that as well. So back to our kind of man alignment uh, style defense we were showing uh, in the beginning. 
the cover to press, we can do the same basic concept out of this. So if we wanted to, we could do this. And then what we would basically do is we would still cross man the safety over here on the outside trips receiver. But instead of cross manning the middle trips receiver, because there's not a whole lot of routes you really have to cross man him with, we're just going to simply take this um, player and we're going to put him in man coverage on him. And then we're going to play uh, the R1 defender here. We are going to put him in man coverage onto the um, middle, or um, I'm sorry, the inside trips receiver. And then we're now able to run a defense that kind of looks like this, just a little safer version of a man zone hybrid. Uh, what you have here essentially is you still have that cloud flat to be able to take away that post. If you ask me, like, what do they have open? One of the things is actually this um, coverage adjustment is actually going to do a really good job of is if they were to try to run verticals on this, all you would have to basically use her here is the running back. So you'll see right here, we're going to have really good coverage on the tight end. We're going to work back to the running back. The crosser is going to run himself into coverage by running himself into that deep half. So that's another really, really good uh, kind of adjustment combo that I think is pretty, uh, pretty effective against trip side in. Now for the next adjustment uh, that we're going to show you out of trip side in, we're actually going to be utilizing uh, cover for, uh, I'm sorry, spinner. And this one, we're going to go back to that free safety sub package. And you do want to have your match set to on. And please make sure you have auto flip off. You can have man alignment on if you want. And what you're going to see here is this is going to create a little bit of a different alignment, but it can give us an advantage to do some stuff um, against trips. So what we're going to be able to do here, as you can see here to the left, we have this, uh, we have a different style of man alignment with this defense. If I was to baseline, this is kind of what it would look like. I do think it's important to show this um, because if I baseline and pressed this coverage, you would see that we get kind of this right here, which is not a bad alignment or it's not a great alignment. I'm sorry. Um, and so there are some, some holes obviously. So we're going to go ahead and unbaseline it and, and basically leave it like this. So what we're able to do with this defense, we're able to send a lot of pressure out of this. And what I like to do is we're it's going to be fairly simple. We're just going to man up this um, slot corner that's blitzing on the left side. We're going to man him up onto the middle trips receiver. And then what I like to do is I like to man up the safety that is over the top of the middle trips receiver on the uh, inside trips receiver, as you can see. And then we're going to take this other safety. And because we have the free safety sub package on, we're actually going to put him in an outside third to the right. Now, I know this looks like a really convoluted sense of adjustments. They're going to get absolutely screamed at here. And if you wanted to, you could shade your coverage over the top. What this is going to do is just prevent you from getting bombed anyway. And they're going to get screamed at with this blitz. This is one of the better blitzes in the game. All you have to do is block or uh, cover the running back out of the backfield. So what you'll see here is they run the running back out. You see you get the blitz come in. And what's really nice about this uh, outside third is he is going to basically really make it difficult for them um, to essentially, you know, be have anything open to the right. If you wanted to, you don't even have to press this. You could literally just leave it like this. But let me show you how this plays uh, the verticals crosser. So you see here, I'm just going to run with the verticals crosser here. And as you can see, we're going to get screamed at. But also, you see how this is running right in that area? That's another big time feature of this little outside third adjustment that is super, super effective, right? So uh, really, really valuable set of adjustments there uh, in terms of defending trips. Now, if we wanted to, we could also do it like this. Um, what we could do here is we could basically base press, man this guy up on the inside trips receiver, as you can see. And then we could, if we wanted to, roll the coverage and play a little man zone, a uh, little man zone hybrid out of this as well. Um, this is not as effective for stopping the crosser because they could throw it in the middle of the field. Like they can kind of throw it right in there. So that's important to kind of at least just understand um, that they can do that. So that's another one of my favorite uh, little ways to defend to defend this formation. Now you might want to utilize your deep out zone knockouts. I think deep out zone KOs are really effective this year. And if you want to utilize your deep out zone KOs, what we're going to do is we are going to put them back here on both the outside cornerback positions. And then we just want players that can cross man well in the middle. And 
for this setup, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back on default. We're gonna take band align off. We're gonna put this on base alignment. I like this just because it makes it look, everything look the same and that's a huge advantage. And then we're gonna turn our match coverage off. Okay, so for this, we're gonna be using cover four drop contain. And you might ask, well, why would I use this and what's this good against? This is really, really good. Um, against a lot of different things, but basically this is gonna do a really good job against any kind of like um, outside style passing. If they're trying to go to either outside sideline, we're gonna create a nice bracket on the sideline. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pay, uh, press, we're gonna pinch our defensive line, crash our defensive line down, we're gonna blitz our user. So you see this is what it looks like. Now from there, the adjustments that I like to do is most of the time that outside trips receiver is gonna be on either a streak, a fade, or a deep post route, okay? So because of that, I don't have to like, I don't, I don't have to like super respect that outside trips receiver. The middle trips receiver is going to be on one of two routes. Normally, he's either going to be on a streak or a flat. So that's another route that I don't feel like I really have to care about uh, a ton. And so what we're going to do is kind of box in one zone, the tight end basically. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to cross man the trip side safety onto the middle trips receiver. We're going to man up that uh, trip side slot corner onto the out inside trips receiver. And then we're going to take the linebacker and we're actually going to drop him into a hard flat. This is going to do a really, really good job of defending, um, you know, any kind of like drag to the tight end, any kind of zig route. And then we're going to middle third this uh, safety. So you see here, this is kind of what the defense looks like. The reason I like this defensive coverage is because it's going to do a really good job against crossing routes and corner routes. The only thing is, and, and, and what this is, like I said, it's like kind of like a box in one zone. We're primarily responsible for the tight end, so much so that if you wanted to take the slot corner and man him up on the running back, you could do that. I don't think you have to this year because I think they're either going to run a Texas route. If they run a Texas route, they're almost always that tight end is almost always going to be on either a drag or a corner, which these zones will cover that. So what this does is this is a really good adjustment for basically this. I mean, if they were to run something like this, you're going to see here that is really nice man coverage. And you see it just completely takes away that slant. Most people don't even trust slants anymore because they randomly stop in the middle of the field. This is going to do a really good job. Another combo that's kind of more of a Madden, um, like more popular uh, this year would be something like this to utilize this tight end post. What you'll see with this is we're going to do a really good job against this setup because we have a middle third and because our user is able to be free and basically roam the middle. So all we have to cover here in this is the tight end post. We have an inside outside bracket on the corner, making that a really hard throw to complete consistently. And you have outside quarters, which are going to defend streaks much better than outside thirds will. So you have a lot of really good stuff going for you in terms of this basic defense right here. I think this defense is super, super good. Um, I really like this right here. And then from there, you know, really from there, you could just do, I mean, if you think about what what's open here, I mean, this is a really nice little maximum coverage shell that you have against trips tight end, right? So I love this defense against trips. If they run, you know, streak, uh, crosser, and if they run this, you can kind of lurk here, here. You got a bracket on that. I mean, that's just really, really tough to complete anything um, against that coverage. So I really like that little defense as well, um, just in terms of its capabilities of defending what people want to do uh, when running trips tight end. Okay, so for our next set, I'm going to show you kind of a, uh, a really nice coverage defense. We're going to go back to that free safety sub package. You don't have to necessarily have any specific abilities for this. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to do this out of cover one robber. And the reason you want to do this out of cover one robber is because the blitz angle out of cover one robber is better than the blitz angle out of cover two man. We're going to utilize cover two man principles, but we're going to do it out of cover one robber. So what we're going to do for this setup is we're actually going to be man aligned. I apologize. forgot to do that. My coaching adjustments. We're going to man align. Um, we're going to be man aligned. We're going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to use her right here. Okay. So how do I want to defend or how do we want to defend this formation? What I like to do with this adjustment, I think it's actually really uh, pretty interesting, but basically we're going to middle uh, or outside third, our, our defender over there on the left-hand side. Now, if you want to, you can outside quarter him. 
if you're worried about the play action glitch that trips has, or sometimes they can run a play action play. And if he's pressed, it can be a bomb. You could outside quarter him. The other thing you're able to do here is you're going to use that cross field outside third again. So you're going to use this outside third right there. And then this three wreck is really up to you in terms of how you want to use this. I really like to just leave the three wreck. And if the running back goes on a route, I'll just use it. But the other thing that I really want to recommend that you do with this defense is shade underneath. And the purpose of the shade underneath is essentially you're going to see here, you have a lot of safety help. So the shade underneath, as you can see, is just going to basically get underneath the little crossing routes, little drag routes, and you still have that kind of core. If you look closely at this blitz angle, it's still very similar to the cover to press uh, blitz angle that you have that's really, really effective. So this is a very good little uh, sequence of adjustments for uh, trips tied in, in my opinion, because you're able to do this. Another thing you could do if you wanted to is you could do this adjustment right here. Uh, this is a perfectly fine adjustment. The only thing that you would need to basically do with your user is you would need to watch the running back out of the backfield and then to the tight end post because if they run this Bills wide receiver post, then you got to go to the running back and you see that the tight ends open in the middle field. So that's the one vulnerability of this setup. But by and large, um, this is still a really, really, really good play. All right, so for our next setup here, we're going to go back to um, the cover to press. Uh, but we are going to take off the free safety sub package. And we're going to be on our default alignment. And for this setup, as you can see, like if we take away a couple key things, it really limits trips. One of the things being the middle trips receiver, you have to be able to take him away on the streak. But if you take a look here, again, what is what is really, really effective about trips is A, their tight end running back side can manipulate an outside third or outside quarter. So if you leave that, you got to worry about that. B, the trip side really does a good job at attacking the seam area of the field as well as having a lot of crossing routes. So the way that we're going to kind of counter that is we are going to roll our coverage over the top of the trip side. So what we're going to do here is we're going to outside third the or outside quarter. I'm sorry, outside quarter the trips or the tight end side corner. We're going to middle third the tight end side safety, and then we have the cover two concept here on the left hand side. Now, when we do this, what I like to also do is take this guy and put him on a curl flat. Or if they're not putting their running back in a route a lot, I like to leave the vertical hook. But I think this is a fairly simple se sequence of adjustments. And what this does a really, really good job of, again, is it really defends the slant post. So if they are going to run slant post on us, this is going to do a really good job. You just lurk from here. You come back to here. You got the vert hook in the cloud. And you have a really nice little send four out of dollar that can, uh, can indeed get home. Now, another setup I like to do out of this is I really like... I, I just personally really like cross mating trips this year. So kind of a way that we can get at that is to basically take the safety and man him up on the outside trips receiver. I also like to leave a cloud flat over there. And then we're going to take the inside safety and we're going to man cross man him onto the uh, inside trips receiver. And then we're going to take that slot and we're going to man him up onto the, um, onto the, I'm drawing a blank here, middle trips receiver. Now, if you think about this, what do we really have to use her here? Well, what I would recommend is taking this um, vertical hook and manning him up onto the tight end. This cross man defense is really, really good as well. Why is this good? Because they can't throw corners on this. They can't really throw. The only thing they can really throw on this is the verticals, the actual verticals crosser, and you can kind of help with that. I also find that that cross man oftentimes will do a really good job at defending the verticals crosser as well. So that's just something to kind of be aware of. Now, another thing that I wanted to quickly touch on, let me see if I have this play in here out of the bills, uh, the RPO bubble. So how do you defend the bubble out of trips? What I like to do um, is, is A, you could go to that band align setup that we talked about. So you could go to this, and basically what you would want to do here is you would just want to mainly have 
your defense looks something like what you see on your screen. If you do this, this is really hard to throw that bubble screen. That's an option. Another option that you can have is if you aren't man aligned, let's say you're base aligned, right? Take the safety and man him up onto the middle trips receiver. From there, you could just do something, you know, something fairly standard like this, and then maybe roll the coverage over like so. If you do that, what you'll see is by manning him up, he'll actually come over, help support the run, and you'll be able to have enough defenders over there to be able to defend that. So that's one of my favorite little tactics there, um, just in terms of stopping the run. And then if you ever want to send five against trips, I think the best uh, I think the best way to send five against trips is you can still use this dollar uh, this uh, cover two press. I do think that's probably the best way to send five. But the cool part about this is what you would want to do is you would want to probably either a man align and just blitz this slot, as you can see. Now, what we can do here is because we're doing this man alignment, this allows us to do some really cool things on the on the left side where we could go with a outside quarter, an inside quarter, and a man up. We talked about the man, quarter man quarter tactic. This little coverage adjustment right here, you would need to turn your match on, but this is a really, really good coverage adjustment for, um, for this formation. Now, another thing that's really important to understand, though, is where you need to use or when you blitz and the if this did that structure that a blitz provides because if they are worried about a blitz then they are going to probably block their running back so let's come back out and let's show you this in terms of how we can use this like against wide receiver short post so wide receiver short post really good play this year so if we were to send pressure um, what we can also do here is through the man alignment um, as I accidentally move this guy out. So through this man alignment, we can actually send um, the pressure off of the, or I'm sorry, not the man alignment. Let me go back to, wish this would work right. Okay. So we can, if we're on default, we can send the pressure right off here. The reason you might want to send the pressure right off here is so that you could basically do this here, or you could do the quarter adjustment like so. The reason you might want to do this is just so that you have extra help for the tight end. But another thing that you have access to here, and let me just uh, throw the ball away. The other thing that you have access here with this defense is you can also basically send the pressure because you know, if you think about it, like you know that you have to guard this tight end anyway, right? Uh, off rip. So what I like to do is I will blitz this guy off of the edge. And then what this allows me to do from a coverage perspective, and I rarely do this, but I actually think it's pretty uh, it's pretty good, is this allows me to play press man to man on these two receivers here to the left, and then I can cross man that outside trips receiver. So you see, I have a cloud, like I have really really good zones over here to the right, and then or uh, to the left, and then on the right side of the field, what I like to do typically is I'll take this safety and just man him up to the tight end. Why? Because if they release their running back to the flat, then I can easily cover that. Almost always they're going to block their running back. So if they're blocking their running back then there's no point in covering him, right? But if the tight end's on a corner now, watch what I can do defensively. I can just cover the corner, and as you can see, nothing else can get open because we're using press man-to-man -man coverage to be able to defend the formation. So these are some of my favorite adjustments for trips tight end. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please check out my Patreon. That's the best place that you can become a better Madden player. It has access to all of my full offensive and defensive eBooks. We have a ton of material like this in the Patreon, and we actually cover not only how to stop like one formation, but how to stop pretty much every formation you're going to face, and also how to adjust to formations maybe you've never seen before. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for the Patreon and get access to all of my eBooks and all of my updates to those eBooks, head down to the description and click the link down below.